What's up, Indie Nation? INN reporter and senior Amelia Emmons here, and welcome to my final segment on INN, Indie Senior Commitments, Where Are They Going Next? As a school year comes to a close, it's important that the success of Independence's very first graduating class doesn't go unnoticed. After a socially distant senior year consisting of last minute SATs and virtual college tours, figuring out the next chapter of their lives definitely wasn't easy. With that being said, let's start things off by taking a look at the most popular colleges where the Indy Tigers chose to continue their academic careers. Coming in at the top, we have Virginia Tech, closely followed by the Nova Nighthawks, George Mason University, and James Madison University. All of these colleges are excellent choices and congrats to all the seniors who have committed to these schools. We also have some seniors that are definitely going the distance. The top two most popular out-of-state colleges are the University of Tennessee at Knoxville and the University of Colorado at Boulder. However, these are just the top two most popular out-of-state colleges. Of the 179 students who answered the survey, the Indy Tigers will be attending schools in 23 different states, with the farthest state being California. But it doesn't stop there. There will even be one student studying all the way in Germany. Of these Tigers who are attending college or university, 30.6% are receiving some sort of scholarship. In addition to scholarships, some of these amazing seniors are not only ready to continue their academic career, but their athletic careers as well. So far, it is known that we have seniors committed to schools for football, baseball, softball, soccer, track, and cross country. With all that information kept in mind, I interviewed one of our very own seniors, Gracie Hill, who will be attending the University of Cincinnati, and asked her some questions about her experience with the college commitment process. Why did you choose to attend an out-of-state college? Um, I wanted to go to University of Cincinnati mostly because I love their program. You actually do a co-op where you work with different companies as a paid internship and you can go anywhere to Australia, Hong Kong, or stay in the States. But I think it's a really neat program because you get field work in the engineering field. What was the hardest part about the application process in choosing your college? Um, the hardest part about my application was definitely all the essays I had to write because there was different ones for every college and there could be multiple too and it was just a lot of writing and you know, <laughs> it's just stressful writing. Do you feel ready to go off to college after a long period of distance learning? Not really, but yes, I am. I just wish I had more time with my friends and I could have, you know, had more school activities but I do feel prepared because my teachers have done a pretty great job of getting me ready for the college experience. What will you miss the most about Independence? I'll definitely miss the cool merchandise because I love the logo and red, white, and blue go so well together. And I wish I had more of it and I hate that I can't, but that's one of my favorite parts of Indy is definitely TJ the Tiger. Although college is a common path to take after high school, it definitely isn't the only option. Of the students who answered the survey, six will be entering the military, one will be participating in a gap year, and over two will be entering career technical school. No matter how different everyone's next chapter in life is, the class of 2021 will forever have one thing in common. Let's see what a few of our seniors said they will miss the most about independence. The one thing I would miss the most about Indy is the football games and the student section. We would get out every single game and we would always show out. Hi, I'm Ainsley, and one thing I'm going to miss about Independence next year is all the spirit. I love how everyone is so supportive of each other and everything that they do, and how Independence is just one big family. One thing I'll miss about Indy is all of the amazing teachers who always supported me and inspired me. I'm going to miss the competitive sports. I'm going to miss the school spirit. I'm going to miss the people at Indy. I'm going to miss all the fun activities. The thing that I'm going to miss most about Independence are all of the small moments I've had with students and staff that made this place feel like a second home. Thank you so much for tuning into Indy Senior Commitments, Where Are They Going Next? I'm Amelia Emmons, and remember seniors, once a tiger, always a tiger.